Hey there, storytellers. I'm going to show you how you can play around with your illustrations to change them and make them look exactly how you want them to look for your story. So one of the options that we gave you for adding illustrations to your story uh, were to take pictures. You can either take pictures of real people or you can take pictures of drawings that you made. Either way, when you do that, I want you to do it in the camera app on your iPad. So it will look just like this one up here. And hey, there's my weights and my iPad plugging in. Yay. When we click on the square, that's going to take you to your photos. And I'm going to go up to all photos at the top so I can see everything because as you can see, I use my iPad a lot for photos and videos and things. So I think... This is the photo I'm going to play around with. My son and I went to the zoo last week and it was lots of fun. So when you find the photo that you want, I want you to hit edit up in the top corner. And then you've got a bunch of different choices over here. So the first one is just adjusting. You can see it kind of on the left side looks like a sun and it's got the little yellow dot under it. So I know that's what we're doing. So I can change the exposure if it's in the middle right by the dot. That's right where the original was or you can change it here. You can change brilliance. You can really change the way that a photo looks just by messing with these things. Shadows. So this would be a place to play to see to make your uh, photo look exactly the way that you want it. I'm gonna cancel so I go back to my normal. Another thing that you can do to have fun with your photos and your illustrations to change them up and make them look how you want would be to play with filters. So we're going to go underneath where the little sunshine was over here. And we're gonna go, looks like a three-way Venn diagram. It's the three circles. So that left menu, it's going to have a yellow dot on the bottom. Now there's my original, but as I scroll down, you can see it really changes a lot about my picture. So maybe you decide that you want your story to look like an old timey story and you want everything to be black and white. You don't have to do all of your drawings in black and white. You can just make photos of them black and white. And I'll cancel those out, but again, you could save them if you like them. And one last thing that we can play with on this camera roll, um, you can rotate your picture. So if you decide, eh, I think I really want the polar bear passage to be on the other side, woohoo, I can flip the picture up at the top. It's right next to cancel. I can rotate the picture. Maybe I want the polar bear to be standing on his head because why not? That would be fun. I can flip him over. So lots of fun ways that you can mess around with your photos. So when you've decided on what you want and you want to keep it after you've edited your photo, you're going to click done up in the top right and that will save your photo in its new edited version. So storytellers, you can play around with your camera, either pictures that you took of real things or pictures that you took of drawings that you made and you can edit those photos to work exactly how you'd like.